Hello, Game Inform. <laughs> Sorry, it threw me off for a second. Hello, Game Informer. Welcome to another edition of Super Replay. My name is Marcus Stewart. I'm joined by Kyle Hilliard. Hello, how's it going? I'm just, uh, I was texting my wife um, about, she's like, um, asking me the, about the dog. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'll open my door so maybe the dog will come in. Okay. Well, it's not going to be a, a doggo crisis, Kyle. It's going to be a dino crisis because that's what we're super replaying this time. We are going to be playing, or I guess specifically you are going to be playing, the entirety of this 1999 survival horror dinosaur game made by Capcom. A uh, spiritual successor to the Resident Evil series. A uh, uh, kind of a gem of its time that has been dormant for decades, but we are... Uh, I guess we are doing our own revival of sorts by replaying it. Kyle, are you excited? And what is your history with Dino Crisis? My history with Dino Crisis is is none. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think Have I you heard the, of this game. <laughs> I think I played the first like thirty minutes of Dino Crisis three on Xbox, right? Um, which was like a Got straight up action game. Um, but that's it. Like really, that's it. Um, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm always nervous about playing these kind of like old, this, you know, old generation games cause they're harder than they need to be. <laughs> so I'm always scared of that. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, we just finished Silent Hill. We've escaped Silent Hill. You know, that certainly falls into the category of being old survival horror. And I thought you did very well on that. And I guess for, for me, I, I have a similar history where I also probably played, Maybe the first couple hours of this back in the day. I never owned okay. this game, but I borrowed it from a buddy. And it's weird because I don't remember anything <laughs> like specific. I just remember shooting dinosaurs and that it was kind of scary. But, you know, I just never finished it because, you know, I had to give it back to my friend. And then I like never asked for it again. So like, hey, can I keep playing this? And I, I don't <laughs> know why. In hindsight, I don't know. Maybe it didn't make an impression or or what, you know, the things we do things as kids. Yeah, you can't always explain our, our childhood decisions, but you know we're going to rectify that today. We're going to play this whole game, and of course the, the biggest decision yet, new game, not even normal or easy, not even a hard option. Do you want... <laughs> no, well, I, for Silent Hill, I tried to play on easy, and you talked me out of it, but this time, damn it, Marcus, I'm playing on easy. <laughs> not that Silent for... Hill was difficult, but I think Silent Hill is on the easier yes. end of the sort of survival horror spectrum. And before people freak out, as I see people filing into chat, hello, Snake Eater, hello, uh, Teneji. Uh, we did check beforehand, a friend of the show, Beaten Down Brian, messaged you, Kyle, yeah. to, let you, to suggest you play on easy and then told us that it doesn't affect the difficulty. It just, what was the difference? Is that you get a shotgun or Yeah, you get a shotgun, and I think the dinosaurs... Maybe they die a little, a leading little authority quicker, or, you know, I mean, it, so it does affect Dr. the difficulty. The thing that doesn't affect is, like, story. You know, it's not like we're missing out on content by playing it on an easy No, 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 no. I mean, I wouldn't assume that'd be weird. If he were. How many difficulties in games change story content? <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to think of, like... I don't know, they, like... Maybe, well, now, like, maybe the ending's different. Or maybe the ending is, uh, like, different if you play on easy or something. I'm sure that happens in, in some situations. You get a different ending for beating Halo on Legendary, you know? <laughs> right. Also, what's happening right now? <laughs> I just realized that you're... checking our emails. Edward Kirk has sadly passed away. Um, oh, no. I know. We really have not been paying attention. Proposes the, the ultimate source of clean energy. Is that why he died? Is he like the government was like can't take away our fossil fuels? Check Kill him. Support. Okay. I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is cutscene. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you were clicking through this. No, 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 no. By the way, as always, chat, please, you know, let us know how the uh, the audio is doing. Yes, for sure. You know, shout out to everyone Operation. watching in chat. Shout out to everyone watching us on YouTube on the Game Informer Show's YouTube channel. Be sure to visit that to check out our. Archives of our recent super replays over there. Uh, shout and out here to, we go. Uh, Alex Aniel, who um, wrote a book about Resident Evil, uh, tweeted at me, uh, Dino Crisis sucks. So, 
big, he's a big Resident Evil fan. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's, I think he, he's done a lot of work on Resident Evil documentation and stuff like that. Good book. Uh, itchy, what's it? Itchy, tasty. I can't remember what the title of the book is, but it's a great book about like the history of Resident Evil. So of course he hates Dino Crisis. It's the. Uh, is that a thing? Like Resident Evil fans can't like Dino Crisis? They're like a rivalry. I'm not aware of. We're kicking it off now. It does not. I feel like I mean I, I I would like both. I I love Resident Evil. I would love nope, a new Dino Crisis. One. Got to pick one. Okay. Uh, see, after, I thought it was Silent this, Hill after, or Resident after Evil. After we book. finish this, you have to pick one. I'm sorry. Okay. But yeah, you know, there's a there's that Exo Primal game that Capcom announced recently. That is, or at least we thought when it was revealed, everyone was excited that it was a new Dino Crisis, and then. I think even Capcom came out and said that it wasn't even a spiritual successor and that they were kind of trying to act like, oh, it's just a coincidence that those have very similar elements. They're like, is it? <laughs> Look, it's just a game where uh, it appears that a crisis has happened related to dinosaurs, but this is not a dino crisis game. It's a red-headed lady who looks suspiciously like our red-headed lady that I guess we'll be seeing shortly as... um. These uh, these special ops soldiers kind of drop down in this island. I, dude, I we might need to like rewatch the uh, intro here because like I we we were so distracted. They jumped out of a helicopter. I should have waited to set it up on us <laughs> or to start playing because like we were still talking and introducing things. Well, he's getting chased by uh, something really big. Uh, oh oh man. Now this is this is definitely post Jurassic Park. Right. Well, like, yes, Dino Crisis was 1999. Okay. Lost World was already out okay. uh, at least two years because that was like 97. So you know, definitely. I mean, the whole premise That's of the game the is that Park scream right there. Like I to right. Oh, I didn't hear. I couldn't hear it. Was it? It's was it similar it was, to the? Dr it was pretty much yeah, like uh, the uh, the like the T Rex. Okay. Park. I'm gonna turn this my is the first checkpoint. Bit. Playtime yeah. I remember watching a video about like what realistic or how dinosaurs would have sounded realistically and that and another source that I'd read saying the Jurassic Park yell is not accurate. Well, it's like it's um a couple of different And are they talking? All right, I turned my volume up. So if I'm still too low, let me know. Okay. Stay here, Junior. Leave the guards to me. Ooh, no, no, no subtitles. We'll check that hey, when we uh, hear what he just in this cutscene. Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. This is an ideal one. I'll pop the the game right. audio up. Let's clear. Talking. Wait, why didn't he hold the door open for us if we were gonna follow? Okay, let's do this. Because gotta have the Resident Evil I'll doors, infiltrate man. the facility and occupy Very the rude. control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Do you have an accent? Okay, or is he trying to sound, like, tough? You know, maybe I should just keep the game audio sort of <laughs> up. Not, yeah, not, it just know. seems quieter. Okay, so let's. Oh, can we check for subtitles? Uh, if there's you're, a. You see that effect where it like. Oh yeah, yeah, it's grainy. Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, what, what's what's your uh, what's your bet here? We're we gonna have subtitles. I'm thinking we don't. <laughs> 1999. Is that late enough to? Uh, all right, so we got stereo. So far, so bad. This came up. This came out the same year as Silent Hill, by the way. I just realized that. Okay. You know, and I'm not saying that you know, obviously different companies, but Silent Hill had subtitles. Okay, so we got dash, subscreen, text. So we got Square and X are basically our main inputs here. Um, monitor. Sound? You checked sound, right? I, I did. Yeah. I, yeah, uh -oh. I, I were. No subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we well everybody. Off, we started off really... strong by ignoring all the opening cutscenes. <laughs> uh... 
we know what's happening. There's something weird going on in this island, and there's a facility, and we're we're like a special ops team that's going to investigate. That's that's like the basic yeah. premise. It's crazy. They so, don't. The, I was just going to say it shows like the button layout there, but yeah. doesn't like tell me that R1. It doesn't feature R1 as like that's how you lift your gun. It's like that would be like I should know that. <laughs> it seems a little important. Okay, R2. We got quick turn. Uh, not pre-rendered backgrounds, which is interesting. Yeah, so I was looking up info on this game, and uh, yeah, I, I read that this uh, it, it ditched the pre-rendered backgrounds, this is which is uh, work, right? you know, it came at the cost of subtitles. You can only have one or the other. Still <laughs> warm. Right. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened You'll here. You'll see what Continue to sweep the area. Okay. So... Yeah, it's it's so funny with those... This, there's a certain era of games. What is, can I not pick that up? What is that? Yeah, I was gonna say that's spinning suggestively. Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's behind a fence. the fence. Okay, um, there but, we go. Um, okay, um, I was just gonna say in this era, you know, they couldn't animate faces and mouths, so it's a lot of like, what are we gonna do? They just had to work with what they had, you know. Yeah, you know, I mean, Metal Gear Solid's pretty bad about that. It's like, how do I move this, like, smooshed texture to indicate surprise on their face? Uh, did we thoroughly inspect that outside area? Or was that as far as... Oh, yeah, no, we, uh, I mean, I'm still looking around. Um, okay, sorry, I'm paranoid with these, <laughs> these games. Yeah. <laughs> the world, the words backup generator area ground, that's a... That Look how flat that text is, like, it is not... <laughs> Someone just like when they resized it. <laughs> okay. uh, I got common essentials for me. Okay, so there's like I saw this in the this is in the, the attracts. Oh, oh you gave you a little tip. But can I get like that? A... The resuscitation. Not the resuscitator. The resuscitation. <laughs> Okay, you can return to you can return to life with your health fully restored. Great. Okay, that was wait, good. is that for when you die or is that just weird phrasing? I think it's just weird phrasing, right? Like you can you can return to life. Bags of cement. Okay. okay. This is already weird. Okay. This is like I mean this is this game is like a hundred percent a product of like Jurassic Park, right? Like I mean we were Oh, I mean uh, island facility overrun by dinosaurs. With, like, <laughs> it's... They got like a lot of cement bunkers and stuff. Okay, is that a door? Yeah, it's a door. You need the B1 backup generator room key to this game. Right? You can have subtitles there. You can't have subtitles for cutscenes. So. I... <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> that's, a... that's a good point. Uh, hello, chat. Got a. Chain Whippin, Level Head, VR Vento saying, one of my favorite games I never finished. How many people in chat have finished this game? And where does this, um, are you, is anyone a bigger Dino Crisis fan than Resident Evil fan? I'm curious. Rick here. I'm in. Because otherwise it must be a very hard life for you <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> How's the progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on here. Ooh, really zoom in. Her eyes. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. I mean, you're By only the around the corner. Found a key. <laughs> yeah, right. Hand it over. Let's head outside. This guy seems. Her character model actually pretty good. Good looking face. Yeah, she's got those like Alita Battle Angel eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Just very expressive and unnaturally 
large. Well, they would uh, level be head... impressive if they animated it all, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Levelhead said, uh, played this game many times, love this game, still like Resident Evil more. Uh, Infinity Warp saying, beat this one a few times, but Resident Evil is better overall. Uh, thank you, Levelhead, for the compliment on my Dead Space review. Uh, if you're not aware, I reviewed the new Dead Space, and that review, like, just went up. Yeah. So, uh, a, at check the time it out. of recording, the game is out tomorrow. Reviews just went up, yeah. What'd yeah. you give it, Marcus? What'd you give it? I gave it a 9. It's oh, yeah. very good. It is a, a very, very good remake. Yeah, I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of it as well. I definitely agree with Marcus's score. It's very good. Let's see. I ain't Clark saying I beat it back in the day. Loved it. I think I got 100% completion. Okay. I think this is the right way. Back, because we're heading towards the back. Of the Are we lost already? <laughs> well, I have like two doors to go through. and But the funny thing is, is like, it, the thing that's going to be maybe potentially tough. It's like when it's cutscene time, but like we got to yeah. sort of we gotta shut up and pay attention. It's just like, oh boy. Rather than telling us detailed instructions about where to go. Oh, first dinosaur. Uh oh. <laughs> he can rub that pack That's on his disgusting. intestines. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. <laughs> Look at those tooth marks. Oh, that delivery. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. This guy's been eviscerated. Hey, Marcus. This, mm -hmm. is, this is weird, but I don't want to. I don't want to shut down the stream. Okay. Um, I I gotta I gotta uh, bring something upstairs real quick. Okay. Entertain the chat for a moment. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Jack, Kyle's gonna bring something upstairs. Uh, what do you think he's transporting upstairs? <laughs> you know? Obviously, he doesn't want us to know. It's a secret. So, it's probably something very provocative and exciting. But, uh, yeah! Let's say, what are we at right now? Roughly a half hour, barely, into this game. And my immediate impressions are... This is definitely <laughs> Resident Evil, uh, very Resident Evil-y. Uh, again, I, I, my memories of this game are super fuzzy, but kind of seeing it in action, you're like, oh yeah, they weren't kidding. This is just, I don't want to say the same thing, but you're like, okay, yeah, it's, it's hitting all the same notes so far. Uh, I know there's three Dino Crisis games. I, there's only three, right? Have there ever been more? Or like spinoffs that made me like, didn't use the name Dino Crisis. Look that up real quick. Because <clears throat> you mentioned that the last Dino Crisis one was on Xbox, the original Xbox, and actually just randomly pulled up the box art for it, and it looks... It's in space? Dino, you talking about <clears throat> Dino Crisis 3? Is that what I missed? Yeah. It's just the box art. I see a space station. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, I, like I dinosaurs so. in space? And I think, like I said earlier, I think it's just like a straight-up action game as opposed to like a Resident Evil sort of, like it's less survival horror, more just like shooting dinosaurs. Yeah, so I'm looking at the series, apparently there's four games, there was a game in between two and three called Dino Stalker, and it was a light gun oh, game. Right. Yeah, it was like Resident Evil uh, Survivor, kind of. Yeah, for PS2, came out in 2002. All my, oh wait, never mind, I thought it was my birthday. Not my birthday, nice. but 2002. Uh, okay. But yeah, Dino Crisis, directed by uh, Shinji Mikami, of course, of Resident it Evil is? fame. I didn't know. Yeah, that. this is he produced it too. This is his. This is his baby. Okay, so this is after <clears throat> Resident Evil Two. This would have been the yeah, because two was ninety eight. I think three was the same. It wasn't three ninety nine. Ah, that sounds right. Yeah. Oh, let me look it up real quick. I'm pretty sure Resident Evil Three was ninety nine. It was. This came out the same year as uh. Resident Evil 3, which was, this was, look at the day, Resident Evil 3 was November 11th, Dino Crisis was, in North America, August 31st, so not that far apart. And Mikami, he was Resident Evil, he's Mr. Resident Evil 2, right? Like, obviously, Say again? His, his, Mikami, like, he's Resident Evil 2, right? I know 4, four his, his, you know, obviously his, like, biggest, most successful, but he also, he did 2 as well, right? Or am I misremembering? Um, he did, 
I mean, he did. He produced two. He directed one. He directed one. Okay. He yeah. He produced he two. To direct. Yeah. He because he produced. Um, oh no. He uh he produced three, and then directed. Yeah. He directed and wrote four. Okay. So yeah. So. So yeah, he was a a busy bee in 1999. It seems. Um, man, I. I I wonder if we'll ever get, because, you know, he's since moved on to Tango Gameworks. You know, he had the Evil Within games, which are basically him going back to his Resident Evil roots and doing a spiritual successor. Like, you think he'll ever do a spiritual successor of Dino Crisis? <laughs> Can we get, like, the Dino Within or something? I mean, they're making the Hi-Fi Break, you know, or they did. Yeah, or, or Hi-Fi Rush. Rush. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. <clears throat> Which I played a bunch of. Yeah, you can't remember the name of the game that we didn't know about till yesterday and also came out yesterday. Well, I played <laughs> it's like an long... hour or two hours. <laughs> it's had a long existence, guy. Gosh, what did you say, sir? He is watching the area. Okay. All right. I want to see. What do you think is the first dinosaur we'll see? Do you think it'll be a T Rex? Do you think it'll be a, a Velociraptor? Like, what do you. First what would you right, start with? Because we saw a T Rex in in pre rendered, right? So I think I think the first true one we see is Velociraptor. I think right, like in game we see a Velociraptor. Okay, you think they're like the 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 grunts? And I wonder what other dinosaurs because I've only ever seen in screenshots those two. Yeah, but there's so many other dinosaurs to you. Uh, like, is there ever like a? I don't know. Are there any herbivores that <laughs> yeah, are in the game? Yeah, like, uh, which is funny. We we haven't even mentioned our third guest. Speaking of friendly dinosaurs, I appreciate your choice to put. Um, what's his name from the Good Dinosaur? I don't remember Arlo. Wow, Mark, I am impressed. It is absolutely Arlo. I I am I am impressed that you remember Arlo. I like that movie. Being down, Brian, saying your your audio might be a little low, Kyle. My audio. All right, let's see. I gotta go into advance. Yeah, fifth in line also. Saying the same thing. You gotta jack yourself up. Okay. How about this? Is this is this even raising it actually? <clears throat> check, 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 check. Is this louder? This I th that's maybe too loud. Okay. That is I'm turning it up quite a bit here. Okay. Well let me know if that works. Uh, All right. Let us know, chat. Let us know. Okay. Um, what were we talking about? The Good Dinosaur. Right? The Good Dinosaur, which I think is an underrated movie. I it had the unfortunate, uh, you know, circumstance of releasing the same year as Inside Out, <laughs> and coming after movie? Inside Out. Right. Yeah, Inside Out was like spring, and Good Dinosaur was like around Thanksgiving of like 2015. Um, I think Inside Out is phenomenal, and. Like having a good dinosaur, I have to follow that. Was, did not do it favors, but yeah. I, I like the good dinosaur. Yeah, I, I it, it, like I like it more than sort of the other sort of uh, Pixar movies that people dislike. If that makes sense, like I, per, I'll take a good dinosaur over any of the Cars movies. I know? was gonna ask, like, you're a huge Cars fan, in that case. <laughs> yeah. All right, Marcus, how many remember this? Red, blue, green, white is what I, I assume. Wait, are we at a puzzle already? Yeah. I think it's I got I think it's got to be red, blue, green, white. Let's see. Okay. So that's Wait, I saw the the little chart next to you. I assume that's your reference. Yeah, I'm assuming. So okay, that's red, blue, green, white. Unless that's how it started. And then I can hit this. There is a switch. Will you press it? Red, blue, green. Okay. And I guess it hits all of them at the same time. What are we doing? Are we turning on power to like to get in the building or We're turning on the generator? Okay. I mean, it's not a survival horror game if you don't turn on a generator somewhere. VR Vento in the chat says, "Can't tell if it's louder if he is just yelling." <laughs> I'm assuming talking about me. <laughs> I'm gonna try to talk normally. And you can get okay. Uh oh. Someone's getting eviscerated. I want to see you shoot something. Can I? I can't sprint while holding it. Are you moving? I'm moving. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't tell. It, still it, kinda, it looks like a cutscene, doesn't it? Oh. 
I hope it's like a Triceratops for some reason. <laughs> I wonder if it's. Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah. A pterodactyl or something? Ooh, oh, yeah. Ter oh, oh, you might be right. I, I, that's a Velociraptor. Oh, nope, Velociraptor. Right? Oh, yeah, I mean, Velociraptor. I got it. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, even if it's maybe the, the boring choice. But... Uh-oh. Oh, is it two of them? Did they clever girl you? I'm just running. Oh, here we go. Here's the first test. I don't want to fight this I'm sure you've mastered this combat, right? Are you supposed to fight or run? I don't know. Dude, it's a... You got a gun. Joint. Hold on, dinosaur. I gotta walk through this door. Chill. They know how to open doors, Kyle. Oh, that's right. Oh. Actually, do you think... If this is Jurassic Park inspired, do you think they open doors in this game? Oh, uh, well, I, <laughs> this one gave up and, like, immediately ran away. So. Also, that fence isn't very high, and Velociraptors can jump really, like... He should be able to clear that fence, no problem, actually. Oh, oh okay, there we go. <laughs> then they, you shall receive. It, <laughs> hold, Raptor, hold on. I gotta walk through this door. Chill. So just all the tension just, <laughs> just like hey, hold on a second, let me Why are you backing away slowly? You know it can clear that fence. Well hold on. Is this one tall? Uh, it's like yeah. Oh whatever. someone shot it? I give up. Oh you shot it. I didn't I didn't do anything. Yeah. Bean Dot Brian still says you're low, Kyle. Still low, huh? What's the situation over there? I don't like his voice. I lost him. You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. Oh, now that's a good one. So, <laughs> who was it? Bird? This isn't a Check. joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right, head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. <laughs> oh, I, do I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to assume, but I, I think that whoever the performer of that guy is is doing like his vague impression of like a, an African American. Like, I mean, there's zero some... chance. I mean, it's got to be a white actor, right? Like for sure. Yeah, like I right? uh, gotta add some 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 jive <laughs> oh, to no. his dialogue. <laughs> Hey, yo, we got the dinosaur. <laughs> oh, you must be crazy. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. How long before this guy gets eaten? <laughs> uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Oh, uh, but one thing that someone mentioned, I'm uh, Crocodile says, I'm so confused. It's Thursday, right? Uh, yes, it is. I guess we didn't explain that. Yeah, we didn't explain that. I mean, yeah, you can explain it, Mark. So I got to go find yeah. the destination. I mean, I'm just, I'm going to be out of the office tomorrow traveling for work. So that that's why. You know, yeah, we didn't want to make you wait a week for the new Super Replay, so we're doing it today. Also, I don't like that our soul jive talking ally just like gaslighted us, basically. Of, like, <laughs> like, he's like, come on, or, come on. It's like, aren't you guys like professionally trained? Like, why would she joke about something <laughs> over the comms? Yeah, <laughs> like she sounds genuinely alarmed. Okay, so I I'm the little gray block, I guess, and I'm in the blue. I'm gonna. To a test here. Does it um? Okay. The, okay. I just want to make sure the marker doesn't move. Moves. Wait, it doesn't move? No. So that's not. It's not me Helpful. then. So there's. Uh oh. T Rex. So there's a door. I'm trying to like get my bearings on the map here. So that's that red line, I think. So I came... God, that compass is, like, not helping me at all. No. Yeah, what is that? Door is locked. How does that help in, like, an indoor, like, you know, like, corridor? <laughs> it doesn't. There's a ventilation opening. Oh, they've learned how to climb the vent. <laughs> They're like necromorphs. <laughs> I believe that I can climb it by... Do you want to climb the f opening? How am I going to do that? Is she just gonna jump twice her height? I mean, yeah, got a nice vertical leap. Oh, there's a rope there. Or, oh, she shot. Oh, she's like um. 
Did you ever play the the Batman Forever game for like Genesis and Super Nintendo? Yeah, I, I actually did quite a bit. Yes. Yeah, I did. that game sucks. Um, but I don't play that it's, game. It, you remember how he shot his like uh, his grapple hook from his crotch? It was like the same sort of animation where he just right. kind of like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's such a bad game. Made in the Mortal Kombat engine for some reason. Oh yeah, because they had pretty realistic like. Uh, sprites, right? Yeah, like, and he used the same fighting animations, but they applied it to a 2D brawler, and that was not a good idea. What a weird thing. Alright, so I have two openings here. I guess like, I'll do the first one. That's kind of cool that she has, like, this... I guess it just stays there. <laughs> this is you moving? This is me moving. <laughs> okay, man, I, may, I guess that's a credit to the game where it looks cinematic, where I'm like, this is a cutscene, right? <laughs> Do I have to press a button to pick you up? Yes, I do. Parabellum. Parabellum? Isn't that a band? What? Or no, I'm thinking of Lady Antebellum. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. N not Lady Parabellum. I feel like that's a medical term. Parabellum? I was thinking of... Uh... Oh, there he is. What's our status? The make of the gun. This security system think is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. A slap? So, what exactly happened to Gail? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio and he's missing. You only have one radio between all of you? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> What's with this monitor? That's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area. Exactly. But I turn on the They generator. must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. We can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Okay. I know this guy. So I gotta get the dock. And ID cards are required to operate the elevator. So remember, Beat I went. Beaten down Brian saying he's gotta head out to go to work, yeah. but he might be back. Have fun. Uh, thanks, Beaten Down Brian. Where those things are coming from? <clears throat> oh, that guy's voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Duke Faison, thank you for the tier one sub. Of course, uh, subscribing to the Twitch channel gets you access to the Game Informer Discord channel. Hang out with uh, all the awesome community members, uh, several of which are in this very chat. Very fun community, everyone very welcoming. So, okay. Stop on by as you get this, what is that, code disc? Got the code disc. Okay. Mark, what does it say it does? Sets something. Something seems to be inside the cardboard box. Can you inspect? Given that this is Resident Evil inspired, can you inspect your your items for like secret things on them? Oh, mate, let's see. All right, so I can you like rotate them? So I got bullets. I got slag bullets. All right, how do not I, slap? How do I go <laughs> see the items? Oh, I got to press up. Of, Okay, I guess. Oh, that seems messy. Check. Use for red, green, and yellow boxes. Multiple plugs may be necessary. Okay, and then. Yeah, it doesn't like you can. What's the other thing I was doing? Oh yeah, and then I wanted to look at this. Check. Okay, so it's just the same information. Collect the code disc with the same mark and set both parts into the door. Okay, that's. We need another one of those. I guess. That's so. what it's saying. Yeah. Uh, Duke asking, how's the game so far? I, I, Do you have any opinion yet in no, your limited time? Not yet. New employee education. Will you read the email? Sure. Please inform the new employees assigned to this department about the DDK system as follows. The digital disk key, or DDK, is a system that secures our most important areas with an advanced locking device. To release the locks protected by the DDK, prepare and set the following two data disks at the locking device near the door. DD code disk X, DD we have... input disk X. Okay, it's so we need the stuff. input disk. The type of the DDK you need is indicator door A, B, etc. <laughs> if the DDK type you use 
does not match, you cannot release the lock. Before operating the system, make sure you, that your DDK type matches the door you wish to unlock. Okay. That's a lot of information. Oh! Oh! Jeez. <laughs> that was sudden. <laughs> He's been sitting here the whole time. Did she say know. something? Did she say, oh? No, that was me. <laughs> oh, that was you. Okay. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> okay. I got the panel key, too. Oh, God. These are so confusing. Okay. Disc H, panel key, two. A metal and three symbols are curved onto this... Carved onto this... Leo! Shout out to Leo Vader. Yeah, sorry to hear about what happened to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that you, Leo? Sorry, He bud. came to film a video feature and it didn't go well. <laughs> Will you enter the code? Can I enter Leo? No. Uh, numbers. Unless... I mean, we don't have any reference for what Nothing that could be yet, so... How do I... Okay, there we go. So it's a four-digit code. Keep an ear out for a four-digit code. Okay, what, uh, can you pull up your map? Like, where are we exactly? Okay, so we are... In the... Oh. Okay, so save point. Oh, did we save? How or do where, I save? Where, where do we save? Oh, gosh. See, is this like... If it's, a if it's a typewriter in Resident Evil, what would it be in Dino Crisis? A, a, a computer, right? Like, fancy. Right. Do I have to Maybe use it's... an item to save? Oh, don't say that. Oh, no, you don't think it's an ink ribbon thing, do you? <laughs> Let's see. Files Double barrel. Scanned. Is this a Switch exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> no, this isn't. They've never, outside of uh, bringing this game to like the PS1 classics on like later PlayStation consoles, I don't think this game has been ported anywhere else. I don't think so. To my knowledge. I don't think so. Hmm. But we are playing on the, the old PlayStation 1. We're at the source. So, I mean, actually, this game did come to Dreamcast the next year. And Windows, like PC. But that's about it. <laughs> Why is that? This, the door is a save point? Wait, what? I, I just, didn't you walk through that door to get in there? No. The, uh, or no, you didn't? Now saving. Please do not. Okay. Oh, it doesn't seem like I can do like multiple saves. Oh, that's a... No way. Well, oh, okay. There, okay, I can. Yeah. Okay. It's just kind of... It's a little funky. I was going to say, like, they, um... I, when I was looking up this game, I saw that Capcom referred to it as panic horror as opposed to survival horror, so I was like, maybe it's not as strict about... You know. Already? That was quick. Thanks. Hey, girl, just get going. So, okay. <laughs> Will you push the switch? Every time he's... Hey, girl, just keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, oh, hello. Get out of there. <laughs> wait, <sighs> wait, put the laser wall back up. You. I, still oh, uh, you I still haven't fired a single bullet. <laughs> oh, I was going to say you should have put the laser wall back up so he couldn't follow. Oh, that would have been smart. Damn it, Marcus, why aren't you the one playing? <laughs> I got some intimidating stairs. This map doesn't seem very helpful. Mix. Oh yeah, I gotta figure that out. Okay. So I wonder if that for the save, if is it just like walking into the room? Is like basically. Oh, like that's it? You know, it's like you enter the room, it's like, okay, you, you can save here. Which is yeah, maybe. that's fine, that works. <laughs> Increase the potential. Potency of items with anesthetic properties. Okay. What? So, beat so like health? Brian, uh, shout out, sent me a nice uh, Twitter DM that basically was like a lot of tips for Dino Crisis without spoiling anything. And one of the things that he talked about a lot was like, um, oh, I went to say no. Okay. Was about like mixing things to get a like high you know better like we can mix it with like a health item to make the health item give us more health and, and stuff like that so it's like a is it a more um involved mechanic of like mixing herbs and resident evil yeah i think i think so or it, like let's it seems like you can you have more flexibility in doing it like you can do it um with like more stuff like rather than like you you can only have the herbs well i don't know actually maybe that's not true yeah, well, I see that one and makes your healing uh, better. 
The fact that there's a mix thing in the menu, and then it's just, yeah, like it's, it seems like like there's more <laughs> options, but I don't know. So this is a. Uh, can I press this? I don't want to get too close to the laser. I wonder what happens if you touch it. Like if it's like an instant instant oh, death. Or, yeah, you just is get... it gonna slice you up like the the laser wall in the Resident Evil movie? Yeah, just a bunch of horizontal pieces. <laughs> That's the best scene in that movie, by the way. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Let's see. Duke asking, can you mix with your bullets to make them better? Uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, make stronger bullets. Uh, I, I really want to know when you... Oh, wait, is it asleep? Oh, it is! <laughs> it's just chilling out. Just... <laughs> I think I finally have to fight one, right? I mean, you got to go that way, right? I assume so. I mean, if... <laughs> I thought it was just taking a nap, and it's like, whoa, someone's here. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it. Oh wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Do you think it reset? Maybe if you run, can you get around him? Or it didn't react. Maybe you can sneak. It's not moving. Can you maybe like walk slowly around it? <laughs> maybe. Hold on, I want to pull up. What did? Yeah, make sure you got. I want to see what <laughs> beat down Brian told me something about. What did he say? Okay, don't... He says, don't use the handgun, is what Beaten Down Brian says. Wait, like, ever? Yeah, it's the equivalent of the knife in Resident Evil. Uh, Trank darts oh. along with regular ammo for the shotgun will be your... Only, okay, will be your go-to early on. Only use the pistol Trank to darts? kill... Only use the pistol to kill raptors behind laser grids. It takes 9 to 12 shots to kill one on normal. Damn! Oh, wait, on normal? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm getting it! There's no way to walk slower. I mean, I think okay, so it sounds like the... It sounds like using the laser walls is gonna be a, a big mechanic. Yeah. That's so... Oh, left. She's got her hand on her hip, like, nothing going on here. Okay, so... What is that com That compass is not helpful at all. And there's an arrow at the top of the screen. Okay, that's. Okay. I mean, you're heading east. That's. No, no, no. It's I, like I mean, we don't know I enough. I'm, to I even think know I'm what... facing west. I think I just came through the door and I'm facing west according to the color. Well, I thought you were facing east because it's like the vision cone is going. Wait. It's looking. If that's a vision cone, I, I at least that's how I was looking oh, at it. Oh, I, so I, like... I read it as the opposite way. Let's see. So I'm gonna face. Is that how? It is? Okay. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it points in the direction, not a vision cone, the opposite of a vision cone. Oh, so it's an arrow. It's an arrow, yeah. Okay. So there's the white door, and there's a red door. I'm assuming the red doors. Oh, there's two. There's a bunch of. I mean, of doors. it's either locked or maybe it means you just haven't interacted with it. Yeah. I'm going to try to hit. I'll just. This looks. Can I do this first, maybe? It's like crunching. It's, I mean, it's got to be the raptor, right? <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> is this is this how you? Are we to gonna go this, this whole game not fighting him? I am curious to see how many shots it takes to kill them in, in easy. If it takes like nine <laughs> in normal, a hemostat prevents wait prevents Bleeding. loss of blood. Bleeding's a mechanic, I guess too. I believe so. Yes. And this is a. Uh... This is survival horror. All these different first aid things for different conditions and ailments. Okay, this is a big long hallway where I feel like we could super get shot. Oh, that's cool. You're worried about getting shot? Or <laughs> uh, great point. <laughs> yes, I'm worried about getting bit. I would like to see a, a dinosaur shoot you. That would be amazing. That'd be cool. This is a cool camera angle. I like this. So that door was locked. And which one was the door we came through? Yeah. So we came... Duke's okay. saying that they think the dinosaurs can track you if you're bleeding because of your blood trail, which... Okay. I don't know if that's true, but that'd be pretty cool. That's cool. Okay. Ooh, a yellow folder. Oh, you see that big button over there on yeah. that panel? Memo from an antenna operating engineer. Will you read the memo? Yeah, it's my favorite young adult novel. <laughs> As a result of tonight's experiment, a strong magnetic storm may occur. <clears throat> Consequently, the community... I'm, I'm going to read all this, right? Like, that's a nice thing to do for everyone watching. Consequently, the communication... Yeah, you committed. 
Oh, comms department closes at six, Marcus. Heads up. If you need anything, okay. then they're out of there at six. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> at that time, the antenna will be temporarily stored to prepare for the emergencies. Be sure to check the weapons. Wait, did, they, did that start a new sentence? Like, it's like, sorry, this is my editor brain of like, it <laughs> no. stopped, it period stored, and then to prepare for the emergency is a sentence. <laughs> yeah. At that time, the antenna will be temporarily stored. To prepare for the emergency, comma, be sure to check oh, the weapon storage under the... Okay, I just was reading it kind of funky. Uh, I was just in the lounge. There was a Velociraptor in there. Um, ooh. Oh, we got the combination. Here. Let's see. Let's write that down. Uh, 8159. 8115. That was an Usher album, I think. <laughs> yeah. Recently, inexperienced guards have been assigned here, and a common problem is that they do not know how to use the DDK. Here are some points that may not be clear in the manual. Are you going to tell us how to use these freaking DDK things again? I'm it's still... after six. He doesn't have time for that. That's right. And then, you know what? When it comes time to use these things, I'm not going to know. I'm going to be like, I, I don't, that was too much. Okay, make sure that your staff becomes familiar with this important information. After you set the DDK to the door's locking device, you'll be asked to enter the password code. You will need to derive the code by using the basic what? elimination rule. <laughs> the basic elimination rule? <laughs> Eliminate the key letters to reveal the correct code. Be sure to try this out by setting an actual DDK to the door locking device. For example, code O-X-P-Y-E-Z-N, key X-Y-Z. In the case above, the correct password would be open. Okay, so if the oh, it's just <laughs> what? So if the key, if the it's key just, is like certain, you remove the it. key letters. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, the key letters that mess up an actual word. Oh boy. Right. What a weird. Okay, I hope there's only one of these. In <laughs> antenna activation key. Do I have an antenna activation key? No. no. Pretty sure you don't. I have some faith. Okay, I don't think I do. You got a you have panel key number two. I got I can emerge I can open emergency boxes. I I have a, me, don't know a metal what that's for yet. DDK. Okay. So there's nothing I can't do anything here then. Okay. Yeah. Haj Weed's saying they were gonna call this game DDK Crisis. <laughs> the Dino Crisis. Okay, so there's another door here, but there was a raptor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hang a quick left. No, that door was locked, I think. Yeah. So if I go left, that's the red door. That's locked. Okay. I mean, there's a there's a raptor in the lounge. But they, they said to, like, check Last the we saw, they... I mean, now that we know they, they'll move every now and then, we can't... You know. I'm working under... I'm, I'm keeping that in mind, you know. What is she looking at? Is it those like scuff marks on the ground or? Oh! <laughs> I think it was that. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, read, read that. Chemical manual. It is the brochure of a pharmaceutical company. Read the file. Just Mr. Rap. Kyle, when you're done with that, Alex Van Aken asked, can you <laughs> implement it to a contract? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let me see what the, uh, while you're doing that let me look at this recovery okay. aid velociraptor and, please and wait aid? i'm i'm allowing alex van aiken a, <laughs> an access to a, a google doc uh i gotta read this just be just chill okay just calm down you can attack How rude me. alex alex Kyle's if you're still watching you should have a raptor. access <laughs> uh, is he slacking me look at this yeah. he was like kyle did yeah. send me the thing yeah, Kristen pointing out this is some great music for this for this occasion. Um, uh, what is an aid? Intensifier, multiplier, four chemicals listed above feature our company's latest advancements. Is there another word that's supposed to be an an or a letter for an aid? He's in, Kyle. Yeah, Van Aken is good. in. Uh, all right, great. I'm turning like that. You, you have uh, you've solved that crisis. Now you have to deal with this one. Okay. <laughs> The Velociraptor's just chilling. Okay. Uh, new... Make sure you scroll down when you're done. All right. Scroll down. Uh, there's more to this. Oh, message. right, right, right. Yes, yes. Uh, new product descriptions. Uh, oh, and Margaret was also messaging me um, that I was too quiet as well. So, but it sounds like I'm. <laughs> it sounds like I'm all good. Okay. Everyone is everyone all set now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay. Recovery. Okay. New product descriptions. Recovery aid. Okay. The four chemicals listed above feature our company's latest advancements. They are designed to perform exceptionally, particularly on the front lines where only the minimum amount of equipment is accessible. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, my Features. God. And by mixing chemicals, the following two types of slots, supplies can be recreated. Oh, my gosh. It's not that early. I have no excuses. Okay. Okay, recovery type. It quickly recovers lost vitality. And it's anesthetic type applied to the head of a bullet or needle. It can put the target to sleep. Okay. You can make sleeping bullets. Okay, supplies that are produced by chemical mixing can be made even more effective with additional mixing. Is there, like, other stuff? That bookcase looks like it opens. It looks Ow. like a pan. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. There's two in here? Oh, jeez. Okay. Why? This is why we don't mess with... Oh, items. where did that other one come from? Get out of there. <clears throat> oh, my God. I'm... I mean, clearly that bookcase opens up, right? Like, the panel you were trying to inspect. Okay. Look, like, that would open that, right? So, I feel like that was a disaster. Uh... I feel like we did a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> How did the other one get... See? They opened doors, because yeah, that one... The, the door would have been closed for, you know, the other one to come in. So I have, I am bleeding. Um, so they they might be able to follow you. Yeah. If what let's see. Duke said is is accurate. I appreciate that. I can just kind of pause at any moment here while we're figuring this out. Yeah, I mean, really, usually. Let's see. I'm leaning on beating down Brian a lot here. Uh, yeah. Well, you have anti-bleeding thing. You're going to get bit a lot. This can make you bleed. Bleeding lasts three minutes and will take 25% health if you don't cure it. But it's not a death sentence is what Bean Down Brian says. So Three maybe minutes. I just let it be and see What's if What's your health at, though? Oh, that's the other thing. Okay. Again, Bean Down Brian. Shout out. Thanks for all these details. It's really helpful. There's no visible indicator for your health. Apparently, if mm. you played it on Dreamcast, the VMU would show your health on the controller, which is kind of mm -hmm. cool. Um, so if her name's Regina. If she walks right. normally, you're fine. <clears throat> if she holds her side... You're in caution, and if she's limping, then you're in danger. So that's those are the three levels. Look at that diegetic design. So she's like, she seems fine. She's not because she's not like grabbing her side. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> she didn't look fine like <laughs> thirty I mean, seconds she's bleeding, ago. But and then uh, that raptor was tearing her up. Man, I feel like we didn't learn anything and we don't I mean, have any new items to take anywhere or anything like that no we got the combination to the oh, to right. a lock yeah we um, can go try that and we still need to double back to that room because that bookcase looked like it could open um so yeah. you have to find a way to do that and not get killed and then we learned about the um the weird code thing for keys whatever it was called the, right, the ddk and yeah, we all DD. read and internalized um, and will remember fondly. It's DDK. Oh, hello. Donkey. Oh, that's a great screenshot. <laughs> just head a bit. I like just slowly zipping up. It's insane. <laughs> okay. I don't remember uh, where that thing is. I wonder if, could I like, so I bleed for three minutes. Like, could I just wait three minutes? I mean, that's kind of boring. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But I mean, I'm wondering if that, if you could, if you're playing online. Like, uh, well, there is no. I would assume action. you could. I don't see why. Why not? Okay. So I'm trying to get to that save room. The one we were. Which I... I... is this? It right here. You're in the hallway. Oh, God, I wish there was a actual. I think this is it. Icon. Right. Okay. okay. There you go. Yeah, because like I... did, uh, a save menu didn't pop up. Maybe it's only when you leave the room. Also, it's when I left, tried to go through that door. Anyway, let's try this. It was 8159, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. You wrote it down, right? 8159? Yeah. 8159. I hope this is it. If it's not, then it's probably for that the bookshelf panel. Nope, nothing happened. It, but it's that, probably for that bookshelf. That bookshelf, though, the funky thing, I wasn't... I get, yeah. I mean, you didn't really get time to really look at it, because, you know... But there was a panel there, and I yeah. because just the proximity of the code to it, I would. All right. <clears throat> I guess I should be making new saves, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I would. Yeah. 
Which is now good. that this is a, 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 a Capcom joint, then yeah, CJ, for sure. as we call it. Yeah, the, uh, you know, here we go again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just every time I see a dinosaur, I'm like, nope. Don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> yeah, you. you haven't even attempted to confront the dinosaur. Which, I mean, I guess realistically, that's probably the way to go, right? Yeah. You, so, in real life. So, by the way, it's whenever you exit this room, it asks you if you want to save. So Okay. So, I'm heading back to the lounge. Yeah. I guess, right? I mean, is there... What do you think? I mean, we haven't fully explored it, right? So... You know, assuming those two raptors are maybe have moved on. But I mean, there's always going to be that one that's like sleeping yeah. in the hallway. So let's see, maybe. Unless you do. Oh, oh that's that's cool. That's no, so. No, I pressed the. That's not what I wanted. Oh, you didn't want to go up there? No, no. Oh. No, I wanted to turn on the. I thought, wasn't that a laser grid right there? Oh, is he. Is it in between the laser grid? I can't tell. I thought it was. You, I mean, you can't. Because, you know, you, you can't see. Uh the whole frame but yeah do it oh did he move on oh i think he's coming are they smart enough to not go through it i i want to shoot this guy oh did you shoot him or did he hurt himself from the laser all right that's my first shot it happened yeah that's one two I'm wait are, is, are the other ones hitting because it seems like i'm hearing it's it's like making noise yeah, like those are hitting. There was just a couple shots in between that didn't seem like they landed. So you, but you shot him like at least four times. I shot him three, I think. I think it was four. Oh, there you go, first dinosaur. Hey, look at that. There you go. Yeah, you can. Can you like take a knee and take like a big game photo? <laughs> Man, I've been playing too much Dead Space and Silent Hill, where you go up to the enemy and you just stomp on them. You know? <laughs> It's funny that Silent Hill had that too. Yeah, you could probably write a bloody message on the wall <laughs> warning <Don't>. other people. <laughs> Aim for the limbs. Dismember the weird hook talon. Okay, so those God, I still don't I guess those gray blocks are like um places stairs. to climb into the the what's it called? Well, I thought they were stairs. The ceiling. Are you talking about the uh the small gray ones? Not yeah. the air looking ones? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's probably right. Did beating down Brian tell me how to reload? Let's see. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I guess I'll head back to the lounge. I, I, I'm not really sure what to do. I mean... Like, yeah, like, we do need to see the rest of this area... And just you're gonna have to bypass those two raptors or kill them. I wonder how long they like if they're dead. If they're dead for good, like can you clear out all the raptors and they won't respawn at all? Or oh boy, oh boy, so three shots. Okay, oh. that's the better. Wait, that was like, it? Yeah, uneasy. You know, I guess because we're only we can do three shots, so that's actually yeah. Good. Three shots seems like that would be like a normal amount anyway. Like. For normal, for it to take hard shots, or nine shots, that seems like that should be, like, hard difficulty. <laughs> that is a a lot of ammunition to pour into one enemy. Oh, boy. I'm already out of ammo. Bullets? Or uh, my inventory is full. Oh. I didn't realize you had a limit. You must check the device next to the door and set the DDK device. Oh, I'm so sick of this DDK already. <laughs> okay, the symbol H is inscribed. Will you set... I think I have an H one, right? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, both the code God. and input. <clears throat> okay, so what is the DDK that I have? You have the... I have H. Okay, there you go. It is used to unlock the corresponding DD... Okay, it cannot be used here. Okay. What? So, maybe if I face it? But it asked me if I wanted to use it. It cannot be used here. Hmm. Okay, the symbol, okay. <clears throat> Will you set the DDK? To release the lock, it is necessary to set both the code and input DDK device. So I've only got, I, I don't have the, I only have one of those. <clears throat> right? Because <clears throat> I have input and I, so I need the code device.
You think the... Alright, so we know... It's weird that they have... It's kind of lame that he's kind of off... Ow! Oh, boy. <laughs> oh my god, this animation. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you walk in and he's off camera like that. It doesn't seem fair. Okay. Pick you up. Kyle, I, I, you know, I, I was a little hesitant about you picking easy. Now I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's, I'm, I'd rather. It seems I, like easy would actually be normal in other games. I mean, the main thing for me also is like, if we played on normal, for a stream, like I would just, I would die more, right? And it's just like I don't yeah. want to replay a bunch of stuff and. You're already getting mauled to death enough as is. All right, yeah. so this must be where. Right? Or did I wait? No. Oh, wait, what? Eight. I did the wrong code. Let's see. Eight. Okay. One. Five. Okay. What are you? I can remodel oh. my handgun into a Glock using this. Uh, oh, okay. That's the Glock kit. Okay, so I I guess I would like to do that. You gotta go to a weapon bench. Oh, wait, oh, I didn't even see that. Is that what it said? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Check, maybe? Yeah, oh, okay. I backed out. Oh, wait, I did pick it up, right? No, you... At least I think you did. Or... Wait, didn't you? Okay, let's see. Mix. Supplies. Did I did I not do it? Yeah, wasn't it? You were just looking at it. It's not in your inventory? Recovery aid. Also, where are my weapons? Like point oh, no. point of fact. Like <laughs> I have item. Oh, equip. Yeah. It's Josh Weed the, saying it's under equip. Yeah, okay, that makes that does make some sense. Okay. Handgun Hand slides. Slides. Okay. Hand. So I now I have a handgun custom. Okay. okay. Wait. Yeah. <clears throat> it, it threw me off because they didn't just name it Glock. Was there not a, another door in, in that over to the right? Oh, I don't want to read this again. Okay. Yeah, to the right of the bookcase. To the right of the bookcase. I mean that. Okay, no. Okay, that's the I little thought, safe. I thought there was another door there, but there isn't. And I can't like push this or anything, can I? No. Regina, no, does not push bookcases. Only certain situations. Where does she okay. push a push? Push a bookcase. Look at the dinosaur. I just want to see. Like, does it stay? Does it persist? Yeah. Because oh, like again, even. let's see. Yeah. Yeah, and I wonder, like, does it have the Resident Evil thing of, like, can it come back late? Is it going to become a redead? <laughs> so I, I super killed one right there, and it's not there anymore. Yeah, it's going to... You got to set the bodies on fire. Okay, so... Nothing else to do here. Because all if I go through this door, that takes us to that, like, antenna place where I need a key. Right. And then I need... And we still need a disc to get into that door over there. Right. So we need to find that other disc that was referenced in that note we saw. Okay. Oh, and I do have a shotgun. I didn't realize. Um, but I do have oh, a yeah, because they start you with that, right? Yeah. I wonder if I should pull that out. Yeah, see how... I would like to see how many... Sh like, that's got to be like a one-shot kill, right? And a grenade If it's gun. three shots for... Uh, what? Oh. I wonder if that's... That must be another easy... Yeah, bonus. We, you've been running away this whole time. You've been strapped to the knives. <laughs> <laughs> Just being cautious, man. Just being cautious. <laughs> okay, let's see. And then... <sighs> okay, so... So that door is... This is a door we can go out? Okay. The game is like control. It's like the facility. <laughs> <laughs> The okay, can't do changing. anything here. Alright. So I need to Wait. get that. That's like a code or something. I don't know what dictates when I can turn the lasers on and off. Oh, I thought you could just do it. No, no that had a red, a red light. What are you? Well, isn't it red because the lasers are active, but it's because it's green when it's not, right? Uh, let me check. I, I thought just I thought just red meant that it was on. I think it has to be green to interact with it, period. I believe. Let's see. Okay, will you push the switch? Yes. 
nothing happened. Okay, so I think that like okay. means like the electricity is out or something. Okay. Got another generator to start up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Crater Gaming, hello. All right. So I... Okay, the only place I can go is, is this way. Okay. We're, we're, you know, doing our own process of elimination, not that weird version that we saw in that note. You know, kind of <laughs> narrowing down our options here. We have a... We know two things that we need to find. Like, or, oh, blast that thing. Get him. What the hell? Oh, you have no bullets? <laughs> Do I not have any bullets? Is that the situation? I heard the, like, the, the clicky, like, no bullet sound. No. Oh, no. Oh, he rolled up on him with such confidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it made you look struggling. foolish. struggling. Okay, so she's, this is like, she's almost out of it. So I don't have any bullets? At least you didn't say, at least... Equipped ammo, not equipped. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, rookie mistake. <laughs> Ro rookie, really? I have to equip the bullets and the gun? <laughs> the only thing that would have made that better is if you would have said, like, a cool one-liner before pulling the trigger. <laughs> and then nothing happened. <laughs> uh. So I can mix these together. What else can I mix? Nothing really. Recovery. Oh, what is this? Okay. What are the blue ones? So you're uh, medium right now because she's holding her ribs, right? I mean, she's... Oh, oh, she's limping, actually. Yeah, that, she yeah. needs some health. I'm just trying to figure out the best... But she's also holding her ribs. So I could... I'm bleeding. Can I check these? Okay. What well, does healing also cure bleed? Prevents loss separate... of health due to bleeding. I don't like that. It, like, kicks me out. Check. You can recover your health completely with that one. Resuscitation. You can return to life with your health fully restored. I mean, like just that wording, it almost sounds like it's like if you died, it would automatically use it to bring it back as long yeah. as you have that. You know? Increases the potency of items with anesthetic properties. See, Tajweed thinks that healing doesn't cure bleed. That, I believe that's correct. Things. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you're right, Which, Tajweed. That's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> Increases the potency of items with recovery properties. Oh, I don't want to mix you. Dang it. Okay. I just want to check what you do. He must add. Prevents loss of health due to bleeding. Okay. So I have three hemostats, I guess. And I have a, I can just use a medical pack, or I can combine it with. I mean, it sounds like you're gonna need to use both anyway if it doesn't cure bleed. Like you're gonna have to cure your health and then cure your bleed, yeah. if you feel like, unless you don't mind going to three minutes. I don't, you know? I don't care. Um, okay. All right, I, we're I we're we're reloaded, now. right? We got bullets. <laughs> oh boy. We're good to go. Okay, now right. you can say your one liner. Do you have Marcus, a good one liner? Hold on to your butts. Oh, good one. Good reference. Oh, one shot? Oh, okay. <laughs> two right. shots. Two shots. No! Oh. oh, oh, did he fake you out? <laughs> oh, he's playing possum! <laughs> oh. What the hell? Three shotguns is what it takes. It took three. Yeah, why does it take the same amount of bullet? handgun bullets? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, he played possum. They, they are smart. Clever girls. All right, let's see. Oh, almost walked right into that. I'm assuming. That I like Brendan of the Quinn's uh, one-liner. Death uh, finds a way. <laughs> that's good. It's a good one. That, that's good. <laughs> Death uh, finds a way. This is a new room, so it's exciting for us. Are you the code? Are you the key master? Ah, crap! Okay. I didn't mean to click away from it. I mean, but I think that's. I think it's the thing we need. Yeah. So. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Collect the input disc with the same mark and set both parts into the door. Do I have to, like, do it separately? Okay, I don't have to mix them or whatever. I mean, we definitely need to go back to that door anyway and try it out, so... Uh, I, don't, I don't like... I, I, wait, what I, is that? I, is that ammo, just ammo? Ammo. Or uh, inventory is full. Um, yeah, I mean, you can get rid of that key at that door and come back here. Right. Assuming it, like, gets rid of it. 
Journal of the Guardsman. A page is dated today. Will you read it? Yes. Before tonight's experiment, the Chief and Dr. Kirk will be having a meeting at the second floor lounge from 1 p.m. Those who are scheduled to guard should keep a preponderant eye on the area mm. in front of the Chief's room. I learned a new word today. Yeah, it's a good SAT preponderant. word. Preponderant. I'm typing it in right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I... Let's see, I want to preponderance the quality or the quality or fact of being greater in number, quantity, or importance. Is that a, how does that apply? Here? Is that that? Right, what are you looking at? Like dictionary.com or something? I'm looking at preponderance. Preponderant, predominant influence, number, and importance. The predominant influence of the U.S. within the alliance. I don't think they use that right, unless I'm like right. To keep in. Yeah, I keep a. Unless he's. Unless guard. Because it's saying those scheduled as in multiple people. Yeah. So. I'm also seeing. It's saying, like, use your large number of eyes to keep an eye on Superior in weight, force, influence, numbers, etc. So I think it's like you use it to, like, say something is, like, good, right? Or, like, keep, keep a, a. Keep a strong eye. eye. A sharp like, eye. Keep, yeah, I think that's what it what they're going for so i guess that's right yeah Pre i grew being up brian saying the writer had a word of the day calendar and needed to make it fit <laughs> <laughs> hey i don't i like learning new words nothing wrong with that yeah, okay yeah. keep a preponderant eye on the area in front of the chief's room and the surrounding vicinity before taking positions be sure to resupply your am ammunition in the custody room okay the custody room the weapon storage hmm. in the custody room can be opened the combination Oh, do you think that the save room is the custody room? Maybe. 0426. Also, we have received information that spies have sneaked into the facility recently. If anything happens, you may have to enter the rooms of the chief and the professor in order to ensure their safety. You will find the disc that contains the information you need to access their rooms on top of the locker. That's all for now. Okay. I have that. That's what I grabbed. Uh, the was the disc there. Who writes that's all for now? Like, you just stop writing. <laughs> I'm going to start. <laughs> it's I'm going to sign know? off all my emails. Uh, these are some yeah. uh, inappropriate posters, I think. I think. I honestly oh. don't know. <laughs> good thing. Good thing this is an old game. It's already been blurred out for us. I, yeah, I really can't. I genuinely can't tell. Okay, so it's I'm a gonna... naked dinosaur. All right, let's see. So we have. What time is it? One. Okay, we're playing for another thirty minutes or so. Um, okay, so we got to go back to that the 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 room that or the the door that needed the disc key. Is this it? This is another save room. Okay. So let's see. Wait, no, isn't wait, this is an art save room? This is the save room, yeah. Okay. Oh, you said it was another save room. Oh, I thought it was a different one, but it's the same one. Okay. I don't oh. is this it? Zero. Cool. But I can't pick up any of this stuff, can I? Oh, is that a new gun? The words oh, key. main entrance are carved. Oh, okay. Inventory full. Okay. Well, Ooh, oh, that's a resuscitation, though. Oh, we got to find a way to make room for that. So there are, you can use boxes, apparently. Like, oh, Evil like storage style. boxes? I just, we just haven't found any yet. Okay. That's good. Will you save? You, how do you, uh, how do you feel about the controls? Do you think you've got a, have you settled in yet? Yeah, they're fine. Um, How does it feel compared to Silent Hill? It's a little more responsive than Silent Hill. Okay. Um, which is good. So I think I have a key now. Bean Down uh, Brian's saying that the storage box is outside of the other door to the save room. Oh, really? I thought I thought Bean Down Brian had to go to work. <laughs> What's going on here? Calling him out at his job. You working, man? I think he's self-employed. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, no, we don't need to save right now. Yeah, Crater's at work. I think several people would be at work at this hour. Who in chat is not at work right now? Yeah, I don't see any boxes. Because, I mean, in the States, this is definitely, like, the middle of the work day. <laughs> is that a box? Are you a box? Are you my mom? Oh, maybe this is a box. Okay, you can store medical supplies in this emergency box. You need a plug to open this emergency box. Wait, what? There's a key to the box? Well, I have a plug. Oh, the plug they... Yeah. Wait, is that a... 
Is that a resource that you have to find to access the other ones? Like, you, if you don't have one, you just can't use the storage oh, box? Oh, maybe. I mean, you have one, thankfully, right? Like, I remember the little plug thing you okay. found earlier. So, I can only put medical supplies in here? Is that the idea? Or uh, emergency box. Okay. okay. So, Seems a lot of like, people are at work, by the way. Cool. Some working remotely. Yeah, no, a couple are off. A couple are off today. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll just put a bunch of stuff in here, I guess. I'm not really using grenade bullets. Uh, and then I can go pick up those other bullets. I kind of want to see you shoot, like, one grenade to see... Is it going to take three grenades to kill a, <laughs> a raptor? <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, our friend. This isn't... How do do we know his name? I, I don't, probably... They probably said it like six times. <laughs> just totally missed <sighs> oh, oh, so, cutscene. This is a win. This one's special. Okay. Oh, uh, I think you might have to fight this oh. one, yeah. No, well, the reason I'm kind of doing this is because I think there's like a laser grid over here, isn't there? No? Okay, I made that up. Sorry. Sorry to waste everyone's time. <laughs> I like that music that was playing, though. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so I have that now. That's nice. I, I guess I could go put oh. that in the box. So, like, Brendan of the Quinn's heading to work. How many of these bye -bye. can I make? Okay. Yeah, Taj, we, by the way, saying that different storage boxes do need different numbers of plugs. Oh, so there might be some that are like, you need two plugs here and stuff like that. That's what it sounds like. Nope, wrong button. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love that they, they rest. Like, they don't just patrol the halls constantly. Like, they're like, oh, I'm just going to lay down and take a nap. No so one's around right now. So I wonder if um I'm gonna put kind of a couple things in. I wanna at least cause it, there were two two places I think that had like um but like ammo that I couldn't pick up earlier that I wanna go pick up. Oh yeah, in that last room. Yeah, uh, well, I got the I got the stuff in the safe that we needed the code for, but then near the lounge and stuff like that, there was stuff too. Let's see, Snake Eater pointing out that that Velociraptor was sleeping, and you're the one that was the aggressor there. <laughs> and Ta followed by Taj Weed asking the the real question: Are we the bad guys? Are we the baddies? I mean, those dinosaurs eviscerated that guy in the beginning, you know, seemingly for no reason. They're all the same. So I think I have a key to that door now. So I use the entrance key. I think it's weird. I don't think the, like, inventory, like, keys and stuff, I don't know if that's that. That's like a separate inventory. Wait, did you just use the entrance key? I did, yeah, but I don't want to go didn't through go up? it yet. I want to... Oh, okay. Which, honestly, in retrospect, I kind of wish I hadn't done that, because, like, I would... I would like to keep it in my inventory as like a reminder, if that makes sense. It's like, oh yeah, yeah I got to make sure I go use this. So there's ammo here. Wasn't there ammo in one other place? I think there was a room that also had SG bullets. Oh, was it this one? Was it the lounge? Now, um, yeah, it's like I we haven't seen enough of the game for me to remember all the rooms. Yeah, vividly, but yeah, maybe it was just that one. Because I put a couple of things in storage to, like... Okay. Yeah, no. All right. There's... I swear there was one other place, but whatever. We're fine. We're playing on easy. We got all the health in the world. We got a million yeah. points. Easy like Thursday morning. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I have the, the, the thing. Will you set the... Okay. Okay. So you have to find the word that's... H... Right? H C E nope, C's in there. Oh wait, I'm oh, sorry. Is H E H E H E A? Head. It's head. Wow. <laughs> there you all go. Right. I mean Eat your head. I for all the 
explanation it had to give us, like, I, I kind of like that mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Are you from the rescue team? Turn up the game volume here. Uh, I, yes, yes, I am. Do, Do you I? know where I can find Doctor Kirk? Kirk, that fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here, take this. What's this for? I, I don't know. You told me, extremely vital. He's got a QR code on his badge. <gasps> Soul. Uh, it appears to be a, a, an electronic lock. I have two Where's of these. The first one, who's okay. the first one we got? Leo? Oh, yeah, I think it was. Leo and Soul. Soul. Oh, At least I, I think of Sun when I hear that. All right, we got another H. Or was this? Collect a code. And oh, N. N. Oh, we saw an N door. Um, not, not I haven't Star watched N door yet, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry. No spoilers. I haven't either. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what does it say? Okay, a, com a, a commemorative medal is displayed here. There are two slots under the frame where panel keys can be inserted. Oh, we have two of those. Uh, Wait, hold on. Okay, so like, the I one on the I'm left good. is like at the diamond. Okay, panel key one. Okay, is the diamond. Okay. Okay. Panel key one, and we want to put that on the left. And then this one we want to put on the right. Cool. There is a panel that accepts a numeric code. I don't know. We don't. Yeah. Oh, it's like six digits. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Take back the two panel keys that were set. Really? I no, what if you just want to leave oh. them instead of oh, What the? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'll take this, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there is, like... It wasn't, like, scientifically, uh... Science's debate that T-Rexes were scavengers. Am I so, a corner you know. here? Shoot him! I, I oh, I bet, you, I, I bet you don't have... I think you gotta fight! Look, oh, he's flicking his tongue at you! Oh, I wish you had your grenade launcher for the. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Resuscitate! Oh, you. That is how it works! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you just gonna be at the fight, or. I don't want to use that. Does oh, that make just sense? Like a, it's just a continue, so you don't have to load. I guess, but it's like, is that. Does that mean I can't ever use it again? I would assume, because otherwise, what would be the point of saving? Like. I'm, well, I guess what I'm getting at is, should I just load my save? I mean, I well, I mean, the, the the convenience of having the resuscitation is that if you, you if it's been a while since you saved, you don't have to backtrack all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yes, like it seems like it drops you at whatever you checkpoint this is. Yeah. I. I'm surprised you. I was gonna say maybe not go in here and go get your grenade launcher. What's he plotting? I have my grenade launcher. I thought you left it in storage. I don't think so. With like the bullets and everything, didn't you? Oh, you know what? I think you're right. Take this. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you should maybe go get that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm tempted to, like, don't see if I can just shoot the vital. crap out of him with a shotgun. Yeah. Uh, Bean Down Brian confirming that the resuscitation starts you outside of the room that you died in. And it's like a, it's like a use item, right? I mean, you could check your inventory because you had two before. I have one now. Okay. And it looks like you can only have two. I see one of two. Well, yeah, I think you, you can. That's how you stack items. So I can, I can, I, right? Like, so I think I'm assuming here the way it works is like I can have two resuscitations, and it could take up another, and two could take up another slot. Oh, like you can have up to two in one slot. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, my temptation here is I could. Can you just leave? I don't want to. Because how did he trigger? It was only after you interacted with the panel that he showed up. Yeah. So maybe if you don't touch that. What well, the thing that I'm wondering is like I kind of want to just reload the save. 
and then and like then... fight. I don't want to. Hmm. Can you get out those bullets over there? <laughs> SG bullets. Okay. Because if it's like. Hmm. I mean, I guess we don't even need to mess with that because we don't have the code anyway. So. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it only shows up when you fiddle with that thing. I I think I want to reload the save to keep that resuscitation thing. Is that stupid? Uh, I mean, we saved recently, right? What did, we didn't really do anything. that much to replay. Yeah, I I you know if you want to kind of Tim Terry your way through this, of like being super cautious. I mean, the big thing. Oh man, what a roar! Um, uh, the thing, the big thing about for me is like I I. Uh, don't want to um, use the it, like I don't mind using the resuscitation thing later, right? Right. But like that situation that we just experienced was like I don't. It just like it just suddenly happened. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't even sure if I was supposed to shoot the dinosaur. You know, it's like all those things, right? Kind of make me feel like I ah, I should be allowed to like bypass that, or at least Are, okay. Wait, was that right? What do you do mean? I go through the other exit? I mean, you probably want to kill that thing anyway, right? Just to get it out of the way. Uh, why is this safe? Why is this safe room structured like this? Okay. Okay. So I want to go out the door and go right. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to. Yeah, that T-Rex ate you real good, though. He did. That was fine. I'm going to pull that say. clip, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, he chomped you up real video. good. <laughs> or TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. I've been really doing a lot of... I'm trying to get the TikTok account going. He was uh, flicking your tongue at you, too. He was kind of like doing like a Gene Simmons thing a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Okay, so I, yeah, the trick is like, yeah, putting those metals in there, right? Is what like sort of set everything off. Yeah. So we need to find that like six digit code or however many it was. To... Yeah. Um, we still haven't gone out the main entrance, so that we have yeah. that whole area to explore. Yeah, there's more to do. Hmm. <clears throat> Water Shredder, first time in chat, asking, is it mean to mention how great Tim Turry was on the early GI videos? No. No. Yeah, well, Tim's I amazing. love Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Tim was my, 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 when I was an intern, he was like one of the people that oversaw me. Yeah. No, Tim's great. I miss, I miss Tim. I mean, Tim's still around. Yeah. Tim's working at Sony these days. Uh, he yeah, does a lot of I talked stuff to him not the, that long ago. On the PlayStation blog as well. You'll see a lot of Survivor. Tim. Tim's oh, stuff. you went back. Are you from the rescue team? Uh, I... Oh, you went to go grab the yes, or the yes, disc, I... right? Do you know where I can find the Dr. Oh, it's it, I mean it's it's after this cutscene, which I cannot skip. That fool. Oh, I was gonna ask. Was gonna... What's he plotting now? What's he plotting? <laughs> oh, you know what? Here. We've watched this three times Take now, this. and I meant to watch What's the second and third for? time. If it if he um if she was lying about who she was. Yeah, because she kind of hesitated, right? Yeah. And I couldn't tell if that was intentional or just like bad voice acting, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's like, kind of just one of those a weird things. inflection. It's like if you if you come across someone who's dying like that, and they're like, "Are you the person I'm looking for?" and they're like, and they're they're dying. I mean, what I don't think say? it's rude to be like, "Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it's me," you know? <laughs> like, you want to be like a comforting presence. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, until they start asking like very specific questions about how you're gonna help them, then the jig is up. Do you remember <laughs> in high school when we da, da, da. Do you think you could surgically pull this shrapnel out of me? And it's like, oh, ugh. Ooh, my doctorate is in uh, uh, art history. <laughs> <laughs> my parents told me to get a real job. <laughs> Look, various miniatures are lined up here. They all seem to be weapons. Okay. See, that was. So a I mean. Much that we didn't use the resuscitation. We didn't get attacked by T Rex. Yeah, you technically saved his life because he he gets eaten too. So. Oh, Marcus, did you play Astro's Playroom, the PS5 game? Yeah, I launch? love that game. The the end. There's like a PlayStation era T Rex that you like fight. Do you remember that? Yeah, he was like um, like a weird 
like mascot for like early PS1. I is think it? it might have been only in Japan. But I, I remember okay. looking it up afterwards. I was like, I don't know what this is. Well, the, the, the reason I was bringing it up, I was like, was that a... A Dino Crisis reference? Is that what that, <laughs> that would be? So be? random of like we're this celebration of PlayStation and then calling out this one game that hasn't been relevant in decades. <laughs> yeah, I guess. you're right. It's like whoever, uh, but I like the idea that a Sobo, like someone on a team, just really loves Dino Crisis and snuck that in. <laughs> okay, we got a big area here. Come, Regina, come on. Yeah. Also, is it weird that Asobo is the same team behind um, the Plague Tale games, too? Of like having Astro Boy and Plague Tale, <laughs> two Wait, very are you different sure about games. That? I don't know. Yeah, if that's I, right. I, I pretty sh I could have sworn they're like the same. Right? Asobo? I, I don't think so. You might want to double check that. I could, but I could right, be wrong, um, too. It's, it's happened before. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, actually, yeah, I think you're right. But the Plague Tale. Who did Astro? They... Asobo did Plague Tale and also Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator. That's the, by the weird. Way. That's the weird yeah. other thing that they did is Flight Simulator that you wouldn't expect. Who am I thinking of? I'm. I got their name mixed up with the uh, Astro Team. Then. What is the Astrobot Team? Let's see, it might be maybe a similar like it sounds similar maybe. Oh, it was Team Asobi. Asobi. Team Asobi. Asobo. <laughs> That a hundred percent. I absolutely see where. Yeah, yeah. Those those are the same word, dude. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> when I use Adobe seasoning, I'm like, oh, I'm, this is the Plague Tale seasoning I'm putting on my chicken. <laughs> it's, it's like rats. Okay, so we have disc N now. Um, the file of personnel changes. Let's read this file. Okay, personnel five. changes of researchers. Old section. Special aircraft experiment room. New section third entry physicist physics laboratory. Ooh, let's, that's a big number. Yeah, let's write that down. Old Mark Doyle. Register Doyle rules. <laughs> Five seven zero oh, three six. Okay, but Ooh. that's like registration number. I don't know if that's a code, but it is a six digit code. I mean, you just put in any code that matches, right? You're yeah. saying, yeah, this looks like this is enough numbers for that thing that I saw. Absolutely. And where was that thing? I don't <laughs> even remember where it was. That was in the dinosaur, the T-Rex room. Oh, we had to open. That's right. So we yeah, used so. the thingamadoo to open the thingamabob. That's all that's out there, right? I think so. What is I that? Mean, you heard that sound? Yeah. They're like, like birds flappy, screaming. Oh, Zangmaster, good question. What is y'all's favorite dinosaur? <laughs> the Ankylosaurus, because it has my name in it. Is that the um the one that has like the the armor on its back? I think it's got it, uh, it's got the, the the hammer tail, ankylosaurus in it. Ankylosaurus. It's kind of like an armadillo, more or less. Um, yeah, it's got yeah yeah yeah. It's it's got like um a lot of spikes on its back and stuff. Yeah yeah um, yeah. But that yeah I don't I don't know. What about you, Marcus? Do you have a favorite? Uh growing up it was the Triceratops. It's a good one because he was like the T Rex's rival. Yeah. You know, so I always thought that was cool. Um, I guess these days it's probably, I mean, it's probably a Velociraptor because they're, and I guess I'm going by like the movie version of the Velociraptors <laughs> and not the, the real smaller feathered birds. Um, Cause you know, they're just, to me, they're the scariest things in Jurassic Park. Like I would, if I had to face a T-Rex or like a Velociraptor, I will take the T-Rex all day. <laughs> you can just hide from it a little easier maybe. And it's like dumber. You know, yeah, <laughs> it's a, just a dumber animal. Here it's like a, a Velociraptor again, going by the movie version. It's it's like smart enough. You know, they might it, it might outthink me. You know, can't can't outmaneuver it as easily because they're very agile and fast. By the way, um, beating down Brian gave me the kind of hint that I like. We don't want too many hints. We don't want to go crazy. But he said, "Hint: You have what you need to get that code. Don't forget, you can expect inspect items." Wait, I thought we tried to inspect items. We can check. Like yes. Resident Evil style. Right? Wait, hold I on. I thought we couldn't. Is Leo and Soul, are those upside down numbers? Wait, what? Right, because that's... It would be six. Oops. Zero, three, seven. So, Son of a... So, yeah, we could totally do that. 
Assuming that's what it is, of course. Let's give it a try. If nothing else, we have Mark Doyle's number. <laughs> All right, this is the this is the save point that we will be returning to shortly. <laughs> yes, Mini LNF. You're saying your name right. It says hi. Usually, I prefer my GI streams on Friday, but since my weekend started one day early, I don't mind. See, it worked out. There you go. Thanks, Marcus. You know, I mean, what is Thursday other than Friday's Eve? Exactly. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday Eve, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Monday Eve. <laughs> oh, the worst Eve. <laughs> God, you remember those, like, less, less these days, but certainly in school, like, you wake up on Sunday and you just already are like, I can't enjoy this day, because I know I gotta go back to I hate Monday. that, right? Because you spend your whole day dreading about the next day, and you're like, I should be, like, I have still a full free day to do, <laughs> to do what I want. I don't want to spend it dreading about Monday. I mean, that's a, just another argument for four-day work weeks, right? Yeah. Let's get it down to two. <laughs> How far can we go? <laughs> okay, so... I'm looking at the sort of, um, the... So if that's upside... So that would be the second set of numbers, right? Yes. And then the, the other one would be the first set of numbers. So that's 0, 3, 7, and then this would be... Or are we reading it seven, from, zero, back, from right to left? Because it's not just left to right, but just, you know, apply the right number. So, like, if you look at soul, it would be 507? No, or are you I, reading I it at 705? You, you put it upside down at 705, right? Yeah, I, I'm just wondering, like, what school of thought are you going with? You're going with the reading it from right to left because it's upside down. Yes. Okay, I mean, we could try both, but, yeah. you know, I don't know which one you were trying first. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Oh, I'll, yeah, I, I'm just going to stick with my shotgun. Let's see, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Do you still have your grenade launcher, or did you I put it did. in the safe before you saved? I, it's in the safe. Okay. Okay. See, Oliver Pew Pew Pew, first time in chat, asking, do you guys think Capcom will remake this game in this decade? So, in the 2020s, Kyle, do you think we'll get in Resident Evil-style RE Engine remake of this game? Hmm. Before okay. 2030. Before 2030? Like, in this decade, they're asking specifically. You think it'll, it'll happen? Uh, not this decade. Really? Uh, okay. No, so that would be the next seven years, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have Resident Evil 4 coming out this year. Yep. We don't know what they're doing after that in terms of remakes. The, thi the thing I was... There will be a Resident Evil 9. Yeah, Resident Evil 9. And then the, the thing that I'm getting at sort of in my thought process here is I think if they if Capcom's looking at their slate and it's like what can we remake next Resident Evil 2 has been a success Resident Evil 4 has been a success 3 has been a success etc I think they would remake Code Veronica before they would remake Dino Crisis yeah that's what I would assume too and, and then I, there's also the chance that they they may even go back to Resident Evil 0 yeah yeah well, I mean that's yeah. that's there too if they want to keep the remake train rolling. I mean I think I think Code Veronica Zero and even Five I think all I, have the potential I, to be remade before a Dino Crisis would be remade. Yeah, I, I, I wonder. How, I think it'll depend on at, at how Exo Primal does. I know it's a very different thing, and they're trying to swear up and down that there's no connection, even though it's like. Come on. But, like, <laughs> I feel like even then there might be some shred of influence of, like, if that game does yeah. even, like, marginally okay, it might plant the seed of, like, maybe we just give fans the thing that they thought this was going to be. <laughs> I mean, to be, to be clear, I actually would really like that. I think that would be fun. I think that would be cool and unexpected. If you, personally, as a consumer, if you said, hey, Kyle, would you rather have a remake of Dino Crisis or Code Veronica? I would say, I would say Code Veronica. Um, but I would love a remake of Dino Crisis. Like with that would be cool, you know. Yeah, and also because this game is already following the Resident Evil blueprint, like on paper, it's not. It wouldn't be like a huge lift. Yeah. It's like, hey, just do this game in the style of RE4, like you did those other remakes, and maybe make these puzzles a little less 
<laughs> maybe t- I don't even know what less. Maybe just say a little less <laughs> overall. Just less. <laughs> By the way, I'm not hitting X yet because I worry that once I do, I th- T Rex is going to show up. Um, oh no, he's totally going to show up. All right, so I'm going to press the button now. Let's see. But maybe something is in that safe that gives you like something you can use against an anti T Rex. Maybe like spray. Oh, yeah, there he is. Shoot anti-T-Rex him. T Rex spray. <laughs> <laughs> he just sprays it in his eye and runs away. So he leaves and comes back. Okay, then I'm dead. still hungry. He just ate a full person. Shoot! Shoot! Don't stop shooting! Oh, does that pause you when he roars? Like it freezes you? Oh, there you go! Well, hold on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Oh, first person T Rex cam. Oh, he's like, I gotta go fight Astrobot. <laughs> oh, they're doing the the stomp thing, the Jurassic Park stomp. You just need a cup of water nearby. Oh, I'm okay. I'm back at it. Are you? Can I interact with you? <sighs> Who's gonna clean this up? So I shot him like three. Yeah, like what three, is three, four times. Metal is displayed here. There are two slots. Do I still have the things? Yeah. No? Okay. I'm glad we got to beat the T-Rex in this episode. I mean, I'm sure it'll come back, but... Yeah. You got one under your belt. The letter L is carved into the card. Um, carved into the card. Uh, hmm. The other thing I have now is... um. The input, that DDK-N. Do you... I swear, I feel like we saw N specifically somewhere. I don't remember, unfortunately. I'm going to... But we also haven't... Like, we haven't been that many areas, so, I mean, if you did, like, a quick sweep, I don't yeah. think it would take that long. I'm going to try over here. Like, there was a, There's a locked door over here. This place... This hallway, though, is primed for, like... We're going to throw an enemy at you. Right here? Oh, yeah, like that shot? <laughs> yeah, was this door? No, okay, this is just a dumb door. Locked from the other side. Okay. Stupid door. <laughs> that is a cool. I like that shot though. That is cool. Almost Metal Gear. Yeah. Bit, it does game. feel very Metal Gear actually. Just the whole game, just with the, the sort of setting, yeah. you know. Is Dino Crisis Metal Gear with dinosaurs? No, it's Resident Evil with dinosaurs. Is a Metal Gear just a robot dinosaur it that is, shoots nukes? It is called Rex. That is true. Okay, antenna activation key we do not have. Okay, man, I yeah, I mean honestly at this point I I I'm I'm kind of sort of leaning towards the idea of just just going and saving, you know, yeah, just because whatever we do next it's gonna probably be a hole to do. So even though we're we're not quite at our um typical like full you know two hour mark or whatever, I think it might be a good stopping point. Yeah, we can answer Zang Master's question, which is, have y'all seen Theodore Rex? No, with Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, it's not a you, good movie. You've seen it? <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. I saw it when I was younger, and I thought it was silly even then. And I've seen, I even watched it in full as an adult, but I've seen clips of it that reminded me of things. And I was like, oh, this was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> this, um, I, has the podcast, How Did This Get Made, covered it? That I might have listened to that if they've, if they've, done it. I don't know if you listened to that podcast at all. Yeah, maybe Blank Check has talked about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Blank <laughs> Check. Marcus, are you a blankie? Is this something we don't know about each other? I've heard a few episodes, but I don't know if I consider myself like a blankie. I've just heard select episodes of like movies I'm interested in. Right. No, that's but I, I but I, I think they do good work. I, I think that's my favorite podcast, honestly. Like, it's the, it's the only podcast that like I'll remember on uh, what I like to call Sunday Eve. Saturday mm-hmm. night, I'll be like, "Ooh, new episode of Blank Check tomorrow." They're Can't still wait. going, right? <laughs> They're covering Danny Boyle right now. Hell yeah, Trains funny. <laughs> Can't wait to remember, oh. remember about Trains Oh, Mark funny. Boyle's brother. <laughs> Damn it, Marcus has a good joke. Congratulations, uh, you know. killed it. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna save. I think this is a good place to to shut it all down. Um, yeah, I think we're off to a good start. We uh, we figured out couple puzzles we've killed some raptors you, you beat the t-rex the the first time and we learned i had to equip ammo as well as equip a gun that was fun <laughs> revolutionary mechanic there yeah. um but yeah i think a uh, beating down brian saying you're doing great kyle you're making good progress wow. so there you go validation 
Talk you know, and you are doing great, Kyle. And Thank you. Thanks for watching us, Chad. Uh, uh, this episode will be up on the Game Informer Show's uh, YouTube channel tomorrow, which I'm going to drop a link for that right now, real quick. And yeah, that'll just, for those wondering, that's our second YouTube channel that just has all of our Twitch archives and uh, the Game Informer Show. And, so uh, there it I've is, been, boom. Putting all things Nintendo up there as well. So all the podcasts and all the, the stream archives are there. So Yes, exactly. So, you know, happy, I, I try not to say have a good weekend because I'm used to this being on Friday, but have a good almost weekend. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll be back next Friday with part two of Dino Crisis. Until then, have a good one, everyone. Bye.